On the day of the massacre, shots were fired at the two young men by a Jefferson County Deputy Sheriff, Neil Gardner. He was patrolling the parking lot at the time. Gardner, who is also a coach at Columbine, described his chilling experience for the first time with Dateline's Sarah James. Then I exited, I opened the, the door of the patrol car, and then soon as I stood up, I saw uh, a suspect enter the southwest doors of the school. As he exited the, the doors, he started to shoot with an assault rifle. Do you know who he was? Did you recognize him? I recognize him as, since in between times, we were hearing that the suspects could be Eric Harris or Dylan Klebold. Where was that information coming from? From kids running out of the school and on the school radio, because there was people inside of the school. Were those names you knew? Mm-hmm. Yeah, as part of the, they called themselves the trench coat uh, mafia. We are in black trench coat. He was armed with an assault, assault rifle. How were you armed? I have a 45 semi-automatic pistol. You were pretty outgunned. Mm-hmm. Did he see you, Neil? Was he shooting directly at you, or was yes. he shooting in general? Yes, he was, because we could, we could hear the bullets fly over, and we could feel them go underneath the blazer. How close did they get? A couple hit the, the front windshield. One hit um, the passenger rear view mirror, and the glass was falling down onto my shoulders. In your 16 years on this force, have you ever experienced anything like this? Never. This was the worst nightmare of my life. And inside that school, Neil, that diary suggests that they wanted to kill 500 people. I think with exchanging fire, uh, it did allow some, some people that, are, that were fleeing the scene to get out of the building. Um, I always will have to live with the fact that maybe if I could have dropped him, maybe it would have saved one or two more lives. I, that I will never know.